What is up, Humanoid Nation? Today's reaction I'm going to be doing is by Death Battle! Venom versus Bane, Marvel versus DC, Death Battle. So, I'm skipping through all the, the uh, history of it. We're just going to get to the fight. Sorry, but I just want to see how it would go with Venom versus Bane, because these two are pretty much... Well, Venom has more power. Bane is just a strong motherfucker. But let's see how this goes. Anyways, let's do this. Oh, they got some Contras thing Step going on. Aside, ninos. Step aside, Ninos. something else uh, i love how they have the uh ecuadorian he's from ecuador right he's latino i forgot which country bane is from but they got the accent down yeah where's he from again Let's go! Bullets can't hurt Venom! Also, his blood is full of that uh, toxin that he puts into his body that makes him strong, right? Yeah, his blood is toxin. Trying to, f yeah. S someone who knows more knowledge about Bane, please tell me. So, you fall back on cheap magic tricks, trying to disappear, yet you don't know how to be truly invisible. Now, I give you permission to die. Getting You're stronger. Just like all the others, broken. Oh, he broke the back of Venom, but he couldn't regenerate. Unbreakable. Yep, unbreakable. Oh shit! What's happening? Stabby stab stab stab. Now, what we came for. Eat the head or become him. Oh, I want to see this. Ah, oh, come on. Up goes the weasel. But bro, it would have been better. It would have been better if Venom became the symbiote got onto Bane and we get to see it was a more jacked version of Bane. KO! You that can't taste good. Both fighters were intense physical threats, but only one wielded the superior Venom. Venom had many advantages over Bane. Speed, durability, versatility, and even strength. 
Bane's peak strength was at most just enough to lift a 27 ton car. Meanwhile, Venom was strong enough to stop a falling carnival ride and hold it up by himself even while in a weakened state. Comparing it to similar carnival rides, my very conservative estimate would place this thing weighing around 200 tons. Way more impressive than anything Bane ever lifted. Of course, Bane was smarter, however, even if he had deduced Venom's key weaknesses to fire and sound, he wasn't really equipped to take advantage of them. As for speed, Venom could catch bullets. Even better, yeah. he could catch up to bullets in midair. He had to move over 1,500 miles per hour to yeah, do that. Yeah, man, you can't shoot enough, bullets at almost him. Almost twice the speed of sound. Surprisingly, their durability levels were pretty even. Both have taken hits from Superman level beings and lived to fight another day. Super the big bad difference man. being Venom's healing factor was far superior. Yeah. He could fight on par with Juggernaut, who can make 4.8 magnitude earthquakes with his bare hands. But it's not. Plus, Bane is still a human being, but he just has massive roid. Got roid muscles from all that toxin that he ensues. But Venom is a fucking symbiote. Like Batman ever needed super strength to knock Bane out cold. In time, Venom's superior strength, speed, durability, and versatility simply overwhelmed Bane. Looks like Venom was the real Bane of this fight. The winner is Venom. Hey, stick around to find out who's coming up next on Death. That's it for Death Battle. Interesting fight between the two. Yeah. Just saying it, because like Bane, normal human being. Except for the steroid use because of the whole toxic thing. But Venom, like I said, he's from a different planet. Symbiote and dodge bullets. Can do practically anything. Yeah. But Carnage is... I want to see Venom versus Carnage or Carnage versus somebody. That'd be crazy as hell. But anyways, that's it for now. Human Nation, Human Freak Out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito.